Hey guys, welcome to Collection TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hydraulic Ramon from the new 2007 Disney Pixar Cars Supercharged Collection. On the back of the package you can see many other cars you can get in the collection. You can also get Leakless, Lightning McQueen, Tongue McQueen, King, Fabulous Hudson Hornet, Sally, Dynaco McQueen, Ferrari F430, RPM number 64, Dynaco Chick Hicks, Mater, Ham, Yeti, and Bling Bling McQueen. As well as this Red Ramon, Green Ramon, Tex Dynaco, Sheriff, Radiator Springs McQueen, Dirt Track McQueen, Boost, Brand New Mater, and Nitroid. If you like Disney Pixar cars as much as I do, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, Collection TV, so you never miss out on a new Disney Pixar cars diecast review. Now let's take a look at Hydraulic or Red Ramon out of the package. Here is Hydraulic Ramon out of the package. However, I like to refer to this Ramon as Red Ramon because the back of the package calls him Red Ramon, and in the movie, this Ramon does appear with hydraulics when he scrapes the pavement in the Shaboom scene, but this diecast does not have any hydraulics on him, so I feel like Hydraulic Ramon is a little bit misleading, and I feel like a better name for this would be either Cruisin Ramon or Red Ramon, but I think Red Ramon makes the most sense for this video anyway because we already have Purple Ramon, Yellow Ramon, and Green Ramon. Tell me in the comment section below what you like to call this Ramon. In the movie, Red Ramon first appears on Lightning McQueen's fourth day in Radiator Springs. All of the townsfolk thought Lightning McQueen left after he finished paving the road. However, of course, McQueen never left, and he wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. All of the townsfolk realize that he's really there and is just playing a prank, and they all are very relieved. You can see this red paint job very well in these daytime shots, even though this Ramon is more iconic with the cruising scene from nighttime. You can also see him watching Lightning McQueen get his tires changed at Luigi's from outside the doorway. Here's another shot where you can see the front of him looking through the doorway of Luigi's Casa Della Tires. And as Chuck Berry's Route 66 song plays and McQueen gets all of his fancy new items from the different Radiator Springs stores, Red Ramon gives Lightning McQueen a brand new cruising paint job. And then they all surprise Sally with the new paint job outside of Ramon's house of body art. You can see this Red Ramon in the background as Sally is looking at Cruising McQueen's paint job. I really like how Cruising McQueen matches this Red Ramon paint job and they both fit together very nicely. And of course everybody must remember the scene in Cars when Red Ramon cruises with Flo during the Shaboom scene at nighttime. This is a very iconic scene in the movie and I feel like that's why everybody remembers this Ramon because he's very iconic in this scene, especially because we get a lot of good looks at his reflective paint since he's next to Flo and you can see all of the other townsfolk enjoying the road that McQueen paved and all of the lights being fixed. Of course Ramon also shows off a little bit by using his hydraulics to make his uh, back bumper strike the pavement and make some sparks fly. Even though this Red Ramon is very iconic with the cruise and scene, that's not the last time he appears actually, because you can actually see him after the cruise and scene when the reporters come to Radiator Springs to take Lightning McQueen back to the race. You can see when the townsfolk think that they are customers, Ramon is very excited to greet them. But as they find out that there are helicopters and it's all reporters, you can see he's a lot more confused about what's going on and is definitely not happy about it. You can also see that when the reporters take Lightning McQueen away back to Los Angeles, Ramon is definitely in shock. And when McQueen leaves, you can see that Ramon is very sad 
He's very sad along with everyone else in the town and they all go to bed early and turn their cruising neon lights off. However, Doc Hudson feels very guilty in that scene because Doc caused Lightning McQueen to be taken away. Here is Red Cruisin' Ramon compared to the original Purple Ramon, and as you can see their colors are completely different, however they both have the same model because they are the same character. They also have the same low and slow license plate from Carburetor County, and you can see that the graphics, while they're very different, they have a very similar style because Ramon is an artist and this is the style that he uses to paint himself in. In fact, every day Ramon seems to give himself a new paint job, as evident by Purple Ramon, Green Ramon, Yellow Ramon, and this new Ramon. So these are the other Ramones that were released in the Supercharged and 2006 collections. I find it interesting how they all have the same expression, except for this new Hydraulic Ramon. And also you can get the Old School or Cruisin' Ramon in the Supercharged collection as well. And here is the order that they were released in, and also, ironically, the order that they appear in chronological order in the movie. It's kind of interesting how they've released them in movie order. Now all we need to get is Lightning Ramon. Tell me which one of these five Ramones is your favorite in the comment section below. I personally really like Green Ramon, but I also really like this new Hydraulic Ramon. Here is Hydraulic Ramon with his wife Flo. And you can now recreate the scene in the movie when they cruise down the town with the neon lights on. It's also really nice that with this Ramon, Supercharged Collection has also brought Radiator Springs McQueen, the fabulous Hudson Hornet, and Brand New Mater. It's really nice to see Mattel branching out to do variations of the main characters. Here's a better look at the designs on the sides along with the low and slow license plate. I really like this Ramon's design. I think it's very creative and it's very fun from a very fun and creative scene in the movie. Now Ramon is a 1959 Chevy Impala, however he's very customized. As you can see he doesn't have any mirrors and he also lacks the original bumpers that would have been on the front and back of the car in real life. Make sure to click on the right hand side of your screen to take you to my review of the 2006 two pack movie moments of Purple Ramon and Flo. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more Disney Pixar Cars diecast reviews. We'll see you guys next time.